Welcome back to another episode of Russ and the Steen. I'm Russ. And I'm the Steen. And? We're playing Unavowed, and we're on Wall Street. For those that just tuned in, what happened last episode? I need <laughs> coffee. I need, I need a... Yeah, like, Russ is give drinking. Me like 15 seconds. Um, well, we got to Wall Street, saw this lady taping a missing wanted poster on her, on the uh, walls. Uh, find out something that we're, I don't know, we're somehow involved with this somehow while we were a demon. Uh, and I had a premonition of talking to some guy named Jason. And now that lady just walked inside here. Yeah, that's so it. Here we go. Let's buzz. 4E. Yeah, who was it? Uh, I read about your missing son. You did? <clears throat> you know where he is? Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. Then why? Oh, jeez. All right, so clearly we need some information first. Okay. Guessing I can't just walk in. Okay, <laughs> it's New York. Uh, there's nothing that way. Okay. All right. To Wall Street. <laughs> oh, God, I love this music. They sit in their tower, believing they are giants. <laughs> I like Why does the protester have to look like a weirdo? Looks like Benjamin Franklin. He's got a rip. What? So they walk like giants in the clouds, right. looking down on us with disgust. Look, I agree with you, buddy, but <laughs> are you all right? Gotta look less disheveled. All right. Society is consumed <laughs> by a terminal poison. We've been robbed, and nobody sees it. So no, madam, I am not all right. I am in great pain, as we all are. Uh, can you tell me what's wrong? Maybe we can help. Help? Can you help the ant under the fascist's boot? <laughs> no. It is already too late. <coughs> battle is lost. The future has been taken, yeah. and nobody can help because can't they help don't agree. see. Hmm. They don't see. You don't mean void touch, do you? Like he's gonna know. Yeah. He's touched, all right. The only void is the dark emptiness inside the Grant City Trust. They are the cancerous tumor, poisoning society and stealing our future. But nobody sees it. They can't. Uh, our future's been taken? Yes. Yes, it has. Taken by us. For the benefit of them, the giants on high. Pity the few who are chosen. They know not why. Uh, you don't mean literal giants, do you? They believe they are giants. Looking down at us from the clouds and calling us losers. But they are the losers. They would be nothing if it weren't for us. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, well, music I, makes everything great. Yeah, <laughs> what's your issue with the Grand City Trust? They, they, they are a cancer on society, taking our future. They did something personal, those guys. Lives. You yeah. hate bankers. We get it. Don't get so carried away. I mean precisely what I say. Uh, what are you doing out here? Screaming into the abyss in the hope that someone hears me. Can you hear me? Of course we can. Deaf grandmother's five blocks away can hear you. <laughs> I like Becky. You hear with your ears. She's sassy, all right. Mind. Yeah. You are asleep. Wake up, please. Uh, we are asleep. Yes, because I am the only one awake. Please wake up, please. I don't understand what you mean. I know. I just hoped. No, this is my cross to bear. Definitely something else up with this yeah. guy. Yeah. Who are those giants again? In the clouds. Looking down at us from the clouds and calling us losers. But they are the losers. <laughs> they would be nothing if it weren't for us. <laughs> Got a point. All right, well, we'll leave you to whatever you're doing. I don't know. I can get behind this guy. <laughs> uh, the famous charging bull, Wall Street, a monument to finance. Uh, okay, we can walk to the Grand City Trust. We can't walk any further left. All right, so the map, at least for this area, is not too big. Let's head over this way. Going to the bank. Huh. Another ghost. A ghost. Oh. Shit, we got. Jesus, listen to me talking about seeing ghosts. Shit, that's like a no Logan. I'm sure we'll be able. To. If, if we have to talk to the ghost, I'm sure we can. Everyone dies. I never did check to see that. if we could just leave. Thank you very much. And come you back on this one. Yeah, we probably have, we'll have to at some point. We'll see. Every mission so far, it sent us out, and we're that's it. We're there. All right. A uh, portrait of an imperious-looking older man gazes down at you. Jason Grant. Died 2017. Okay. Uh huh. This guy's name is Jason. And Jason. If you call yeah. that guy Jason. Yep. Christine confirmed thing? that one. Jason yeah. Grant. 
I don't believe it. Uh oh. You know Did he this work guy? with him or something? Sure, I know him. Well, yeah. knew him back in the sixties. Jason was just a fresh-faced kid then. Uh -huh. He sure got old. And I probably killed him. Hey, folks. <clears throat> Wait, are you Robbie Siegel? Uh, yeah. Do I know you? You know my dad. Isn't he that? Used to go he bowling. looks like the guard from no the first game. No way. Rick Santina's kid, Vicky. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if he's Don't supposed to be the same guy. If he mentions ever having Island? worked as a security guard, doing, guard at Long story, Bellevue. but my friend's got a huh. couple of questions for you. She's on the level, I swear. I'll do my best. Oh, it's I remember what you're mind. talking about, but I don't remember the name. Remember the guy where you're just like, I'm here to see Susan Lee, and he's like, all right, what's your name? Yeah. And then you say a bunch of names, and you keep getting it wrong. He's like, you're not on the list, and Chad and I just kept going back like, uh, you should check that again. <laughs> he kept giving him different names, and eventually he's like, oh, yeah, you are on the list. <laughs> uh... You know Vicky's dad? No, I was the best man at his wedding. Oh, really? Damn it! I missed the last anniversary barbecue, really? didn't I? How old are you? Yeah, yeah he, he looks pretty young. Much. Don't worry about it. Like Next 30s. Year, I promise. Uh, you're open late. It isn't late in Beijing <clears throat> or in Australia. Global world of finance. Someone is always working here, which means someone is always at this desk. Uh, did you know Jason Cram? Not really. I mean, he walked past the desk every day. He'd say hello, but we never really talked. And I guess we never will now. Poor guy. Uh, how did he die? Had a heart attack just outside the door. Was waiting for his car service when, poof, hmm. out like a light. The guy was fit, too. Well, fit for a 73-year-old. <laughs> but it was still natural causes? You work in a case, Santina? I'll save you time. Totally what natural. What happened? The guy was just stressed out. Man. I don't care how in shape you are. If you can't relax, you're not healthy. So I heard a noise come from Christine's direction. I look over. <laughs> you just gave me a look like, man, no, it's fine. While drinking your water bottle. I, took a, I tried to take a sip of water and missed my mouth completely and just went down my shirt. Oh, uh, so you've got a drinking problem, huh? <laughs> yeah, my water. It's the old airplane drinking problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so Wait, he what? was stressed? Well, like I said, I saw him every day. We didn't talk much, but he was always laughing and joking with people. But towards the end, he was always alone. He never laughed. He never smiled. He looked, well, stressed. Mm. Maybe it's the economy. You keep hearing it's bouncing back, but maybe he knew something we plebs didn't. Hmm. Uh, who's running the bank now that the founder's dead? That would be Roy Fellows. Roy I Fellows. I don't know much about him. Something tells me Why that's who that? we're talking to. Because I never see the guy. We're going to have to talk to him. comes and goes, it's never when I'm on shift. Hmm, you don't know anything about Roy Fellows? No, like I, said, I bet. I Can I make an assumption? But the lights are still on, and I still get paid, so I figure he's doing all right. Sure. When I was possessed, I went by Roy Fellows for this. That's fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think he was the guy we saw out front of the building. No. Like, her, in her vision of her talking to that guy? Yeah. I'm thinking that's Roy Fellows, and he did something. No, 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 no. I'm saying we met Jason Grant in that vision. You think Jason Grant was the... Was the the shadow guy. We don't see them. So you think he... And he's also the ghost outside? He probably is the ghost well, he, outside. He did say he died outside, yeah. so... And... You think he's also the guy from the vision earlier? Yeah. I and think the guy from the vision earlier is Roy Fellows, but I guess we'll find out. I think I'm Roy... I think I'm Roy Fellows. What? Oh my god, that would be crazy. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Uh, can you tell me more about Jason Grant? Uh, well, he named this bank after himself. I honestly don't know much. Nice enough guy, but I don't know much else. Hmm. Sorry. All right, can I go in? Sure, just show me your ID and I'll buzz you right in. Damn it. Uh, I don't have an ID. Can I go in anyway? I shouldn't, but <laughs> eh, what the hell. Go right ahead. Nice. Ignore him. He's so full of shit, Robbie. <laughs> And you talk just like your old man. Don't ever stop. Sorry. I'm just messing with you guys. The late shift gets boring. What can I say? <laughs> All right. Thanks for your time. See you around. Whoa. Sorry. All right. All right. Oh, I thought he... Oh, he was I, I, I wanted to make sure that wasn't the joke he was talking about. Stack of cards for visitors to leave messages on. Nothing I can look at, though. Um. All right. All right. Sure. Guess that's it. Plant could use some water. Good to know. We're gonna have to come back with uh, Logan and talk to him outside. Yeah, definitely. 
<laughs> not like it matters, but hello. It's not responding. Yeah. Too bad we didn't bring Logan and KK along. I wonder if you. I actually might have to finish this without them. Oh fuck! That would suck. It would be interesting to have to do things differently. Yeah. You know. Let's see. It's a poor cop who doesn't start a relationship with the local crazies. They usually have more insight than you'd think. Okay. Yeah. Try to go back hey, to where you came in. in. Sure. Believe oh, you want to see if I can... I guarantee it's going to be like, nope. We uh -huh. already came all this way. Let's find out. Nope. Not going back. I assume if we absolutely need him to get through this, we'll be able to send one of them back. Well. Yeah. Okay, well. Hmm, let me see what he says about what we should do now. What's up? Uh, I'm wondering if that guy by the charging bull has anything useful to say. Maybe we should... Okay, so they want us to... Hmm. All right, let's do it. Wait, okay. What can we do? What can we do with this guy? He's standing in a puddle. Is that important? Yeah, rain puddles into a reflection of the tower, towering glass building. He's standing on it. It feels important. <laughs> I touch it and I go back into that... Oh. Uh, we can ask him about these things. Oh, are you familiar with Jason Grant? He he was crushed. Crushed? Crushed by the tower edifice of oh. people that he created. The future was taken. What if this guy's Roy Fellows? I don't think so. What goes around, comes around. He deserved no less. Oh wait, no, that doesn't Come make sense. On. I'm thinking Nobody the other way deserves around. to be crushed to death. Do not doubt me. My name is Hugh Kravitz, and I speak uh, the Hugh truth. Kravitz, good to know. Uh, do you know Roy Fellows, the new CEO of the Grand City Trust? He rests at the top of the towering edifice. All answer to him. He answers to nobody. Fellows is untouchable. Hmm. All right. Okay, hang on. Let me now go back in here. See if that opened up any dialogue options. Hey, folks. Hugh Kravitz. Or hey, Robbie. Didn't you used to yes! work the uh, right. at Bellevue Mental Hospital? Nice. For a bit, yeah. Hated it. The lights were always on the blink, and the radio never worked. This place is better. They're just as crazy, but at least they're crazy rich. That's funny. Nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. Do you know anything about Hugh Kravitz, the protester outside? I have no idea. Sorry. Jesus, the cop clam up. Huh? That's what we called it. Whenever an older cop wouldn't tell us something, it didn't work when my dad used it, and it sure ain't working for you. <laughs> Jesus, you're a Santina to the bone. Cut the bullshit, See, I guess Bobby. this is what Bill. we get for having brought her. Mm, yeah. We get more like information from him. This up online anyway. Hugh Kravitz used to be a vice president of this bank. Huh. He was vice president of this bank? What happened? Vicky, I could always trust your dad. Can I trust you too? Don't worry. Your lips, God's ears, etc. Okay. Hugh et cetera, a but whatever. Everyone's trying to keep it quiet. He was a real up-and-comer type. He was just promoted to vice president. Then he went a bit nuts. Nuts? Yeah, he snapped. He took a bunch of documents, <gasps> set them on fire, and threw them into the fire cubicle reading. Pen. Jesus. I, I told you. Nuts. He nearly burned the whole place down. So he's fired on the spot. The next day, he's out there, carrying that sign and screaming his head off. Hmm. Oh. You know anything about Roy Fellow still? No. Nope. Like <laughs> okay. I said, but the lights are. Okay. Thanks for Get the around. time. So we got some more information there. Let me go outside. Still need an ID or somehow to get in there. Yeah, well, maybe I can get his ID. Convince him I can go in yeah. and be like a spy or something. True. Talk to... What's up? Can you fire reading something? Best. Oh, yeah. He set some documents on fire any chance we could see him. I don't see why not. Nice. Financial sector profits as a percentage of all domestic corporate profits. Okay, so something in September of 08 had a big drop. Hmm. How did oh, you that's fire the, wait, documents uh, already? Because like, I thought you'd have to break into his office or yeah, something. That's the reception, by the way. Or reception. We. Uh, that's the recession, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, you're right. So that's what that is. Okay. Um, so maybe that's not as ne as important necessarily. All right, what, else, what other pages we got here? Oh. Oh, everything I say is a lie. All right. Uh, no, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. That was in 2004. So that's... Oh, four, really? The other document. The one before. This one? 
Yeah, said December right. 7, 24, 2000. No, well, the the document it is, is I don't... Date of meeting, December yeah, but 7, December 6, 2014 is the uh, date of when it's printed out. I think it's just a, it's about that meeting, but it was printed later. Please let me confess I will burn it, I promise. I took your... Oh, child Travis. Fellows made me do it. Roy Fellows. Yep. I am so sorry. Fellows made me do it. Fellows made me do it. Yep. Okay. I can't confess. I can only write it down, then burn it. I can't break free. I can't escape. Help someone. Yeah, uh, yeah we're Roy Fellows. Jesus. No, Roy a Fellows kid. was the guy we he got in his a head. Kid. Shit. Should I call the local precinct? I know if you guys. I think me as Mel Caressa. might be a little out of their league. That man walking on the street in front of the building, I think was Roy. I think we drove him to do it. Sit in their tower, oh. believing they are How could giants. we be Roy Fellows? Roy Fellows is the guy in charge of the company too now. Too vital to yeah, that no one ever sees, no one knows who All right, it is. Fair point, fair point. You, know, you might have something. Let me talk to him again. Uh, <laughs> is it true that you're a vice president at the Grand City Trust? That changes nothing. I have witnessed the corruption firsthand. Poison, the festering malignancy, the, the, the what? Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, we heard you set a fire in your office. A fire was set by who? <laughs> I cannot say. It was by you. You set the fire. Robbie Siegel just told us. I cannot say. Yeah, something, something got in his head. We Probably read us. your confession. What? Do you mean you can see? See the truth? Sure, we can see the truth. You took a kid. Come on, fess up. I can't. Right. Your confession said you couldn't talk about it. So you're under some kind of compulsion. The truth hurts. Hurts my head. It hurts so much. Then maybe you shouldn't have taken a kid. Look, you. We want to help you. But we can't if you don't give us something. Anything. I cannot speak the truth. I did not kidnap a child. Wait, you're lying, right? So uh -huh. you're saying you did? Mr. Fellows did not force me to oh, steal the baby clever. boy. That boy was not named Elijah Cook. The boy did not belong to my closest friend and co-worker who I can't look in the eye anymore. God help me! Oh no. Oh. Uh, what the hell happened to him? He tried to get around his compulsion. It was strong. It fought back. We can't just leave him here. I'm calling an ambulance. Hopefully his brain isn't fried. That poor guy. Shit. We've done all we can for him. Let's get to the bottom of this. All right. Well, now, people, we've got a lot more information. Woo, crap. Oh, man. This is good. This is a good one. Yeah. Um, all right. And we're going to continue tomorrow with more of the uh, this Wall Street story. That was uh, that was good. This is getting real intriguing now. <laughs> Time to go talk to that lady about her kid. But Christine. Well, yeah, I guess so. But Christine, you started this episode, so you got to end it. <laughs> uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends. I like to tell all your friends is one you always go with. I do. Yeah. It's a good idea. No, more. We should say it more often. <laughs> tell your friends. Tell them to stop watching whatever they're watching and watch this channel. Yeah. Slap it over. They'd say, slap them and go, hey, stupid, and watch this. Well, I mean, well don't really. Be pushing it a bit. I don't, 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 we don't advocate violence on this channel. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can call them stupid. Just don't slap them. Yeah. <laughs> Not on our behalf. Verbal right. abuse is okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye.